Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to make an old recipe that I'm sure a lot of you know, but I'm going to, I've decided I wanted some rice pudding, so I'm going to make some rice pudding, and I've got like three cups of rice in this pan, and I'm going to put, um, in here, I'm, the first thing I'm going to put is like three-fourths of a cup of sugar in here. This is just white, plain sugar. <clears throat> and i got to turn my measuring cup around so I can see. So I've got three cups of, I mean, three-fourths of a cup of sugar going in here. And I've already got a half a stick of margarine. And I'm going to put in two cups <clears throat> of milk. In here. And then I'm going to put... Uh, Raisins. I'm not sure how much raisins I'm going to put in. I guess about, I like a lot of raisins in my rice pudding. So, probably about a cup and a half of raisins. different down here. I've got a cup and a half of raisins that are going in there. And I've just used long grain rice. Um, and I'm going to turn this on on medium. And I'm going to start getting this warm. But the first thing I've got to do is I'm going to put three eggs. I'm going to um, scramble three eggs and put that in here so that that can cook and get heated up and not be white scrambled eggs. Scramble these up. And this rice, of course, was cooked with salt. You want to always put salt in your rice because um, if you fix recipes and don't put salt in it, it it just doesn't, it's just not a good taste. Alright, so these three eggs are going in here. I'm going to let them cook. And then I've got one teaspoon of cinnamon. Might know this hadn't been opened. One teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of vanilla. All right, and I'm going to mix this all up and let this cook until it gets to the consistency. And I know the eggs are done and. Everything is done and 
you see exactly what I put in here. It might looks like I might will put some more raisins in here. Probably another half a cup of raisins. I know you can't see. Let me lift this up so you can see down inside it. I think it might need more raisins in it. But I'm going to let this cook and the margarine melt and the eggs cook and all this become real creamy and I'll bring you back when this gets done and we'll taste it and see. That's It's just this easy. That's all it is to making rice pudding. But you've got to mix all this up real good and make sure that all of your rice is coated with the milk and the cinnamon and the eggs and the raisins and all that. So I've got some stirring I've got to do and I'll bring you back. Okay, the kids are down here. Y'all see them in the movie. I'm putting about another half a cup of milk in here. I've got my oven preheated. I know a lot of you just do this on the, on your stove or whatever, but I like to bake mine to make sure that the eggs get done really well. So I've got a casserole dish here, and I'm going to pour this into the casserole dish. And put it into the oven on 350 oh, for about 45 minutes just to make sure that everything is done good on it. Let me show you. This is a lot of, lot of rice pudding. A lot, a lot, a lot. So I've got this in here. I'm going to mash it down. Oh, you can smell that cinnamon. Mm, smells so good. Alright, so I'm going to put this in the oven, like I said, on 350 for about 45 minutes. And I'll bring you back and we'll taste it as soon as it gets done. Okay, I'm back. I left this in the oven for about 45 minutes. And you can see it is a huge thing. My grandson's done got some, and I've got some on my plate here that I'm going to taste and see what it tastes like. I just love rice pudding. And you don't have to put it in the oven and bake it. But I want to because I always want to make sure that the eggs are done because I know that you can get bad things from eggs, raw eggs. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, this is so good. And I put, mmm, I did put more raisins in it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, that is so good. I just love rice pudding. So if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to be a part of my Facebook group, you can go to www.facebook.com forward slash food prepping. One word, F-O-O-D-P-R-E-P-P-I-N-G. And like my page there. All the recipes I've put on... Um, on YouTube or on there as well and you can watch them there you can comment if you've got anything you want to say any recipes you want to share whatever you can put them on the my Facebook group I welcome anything that you have to say on YouTube or Facebook so you have a good night and I'll talk to you later bye